What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade coming to y'all with analysis breakdown on the sophomore Brandon Miller. He's ferocious when attacking the basket. He uses his length, his size, and his quickness to be able to get all the way to the rim and finish with ferocity. And I think this is a great thing to see because it just shows you that his confidence is on another level. And this is what they really needed, you know, at that position. And that's why they drafted him. But he also has the ability to know when to attack the realm, when guys are trying to protect the realm or the guy is not in the realm, or he just knows when to get to the basket. When the lane is open, he, he attacks very quickly before guys can get in front of him or cut the lane off from his ability to get to the realm. And he's able to finish very quickly and very fast sometimes. And if you are late, he's able to finish over you and really finish with power. And that's what you really want him to do when he has the ability to do it in space or even if, you know, they don't have a great rim protector in the paint because these are the highest percentage shots that you can get, especially for a guy at this size with this type of length. Um, he also can finish with finesse. He's able to. Uh, handle the ball and create separation and be able to push right past guys and be able to lay it right in and he does that using backboard too just in case you try to block it i think that it shows you that he has a high skill level and he has great handle for a guy his size like most people in this generation he can finish with contact with using his length to be able to still be able to hang in the air a little bit and guide it into the basket he can relocate and hit threes obviously he ended up shooting very well for a rookie 37 percent from three he can do it off the dribble if he needs to, which you need him to do sometimes, he can come off dribble handoffs and screens and can create his own shot or go straight up and shoot over the top of the defense, especially if you're smaller. Um, he also has the ability to just read the floor and just make the right decision, even if it's just a pull up three, because you have to depend, depending on what you have out there lineup wise he can just use that to his full advantage just by seeing it and noticing it and there's not much he can't do offensively he even has the ability to use his handle to get into the mid-range which he also can knock down when he needs to not really something that he relies on too much but it's something that he can do and then you just look at the fact that this guy is very athletic he can cover a whole lot of space and this is a team that is very scrappy that's around him and he can just feed off of that and you need those easy opportunities to punish the defense for shooting a bad shot or making the wrong decision he can also use stances to get steals he can also play in the passing lane and just see steals coming a miles away and just make the right decision to take that gamble and pick it off and just create transition opportunities because of that decision of the offense that he's going against and he's shown that he can be decent at that and you know anytime you can get easy opportunities you should take full advantage of that especially when you have guys of this size and guys with this type of ability and i think that they understand that and i also think that they found him on cuts and they found him on easy opportunities and they throw lobs to him to make it a, a easy shot for them to make and he usually takes full advantage of that in the half court when he's cutting or in transition when they find him early because he's already running the floor because he's always one of the guys in the front court or in the back court depending on the matchup or who's out there and he also showed the ability to be a chase down block guy this guy can catch you slipping if you're not paying attention or you don't see him coming or you're too focused on making a shot um he's really good at help defending sometimes by being able to cover that space and block shots i think that that was something that they didn't really expect, but he also is a good passer. He's not a guy that has the ball in his hand a ton, but he can keep his head up and make the right decision. He can get off the ball quickly and find guys that's trying to attack or want to attack or almost on the attack and just give them a lead pass. Or you can just look up and say that this guy got a better shot than I do. Let me just trust that they can make the right decision when I give up the ball. And most of the time it could happen and it makes sense for him to do it, especially is better than him forcing up a shot. And then he has this new shot where he sees the defensive player trying to stop him from getting to the rim or cut him off. And he's still able to, you know, rise above them, contact, finish, 
hit the shot, and that's a shot that leads into an and one most of the time if he can knock it down. But he's just so long and so lanky that is a good shot, especially because he's going to the free throw line too. And this is a shot that he added into his bag, and he uses it to perfection sometimes, making him a guy that's really a good threat with the ball in his hand. The question that comes with Brandon Miller is, what is his ceiling? I see a lot of people want to know that. That's the purpose of a breakdown, showing you what he does right, what he can develop and become, and what he can iron out when it comes to kinks in his game. Obviously, he's not a perfect player, and he probably never will be like most players won't be. But I like the fact that this guy does a lot of the things that you want in your small forward slash power forward at that position. To be able to be able to score and be able to shoot, to be able to handle the ball, being able to play in transition, to be a solid defender, to be a guy that passes the ball at a decent rate, and to be a guy that you can rely on to make decisions without having too many mistakes. I think Brandon Miller is a guy that has a lot of good things going for him and a lot of things that he did well, especially as a rookie. And you look at the fact that let's get rid of Gordon Hayward. Let's give you more opportunity. Let's give you more chances. Let's give you a, a more playing time and see what we really have with you as we see a bright future with you just based off what you're doing in scrimmages and what you're doing on the court. And the fact that he is a starter, it, it's just amazing to see you know, a rookie pan out as well. He has 68 games that he started, and he only played 74 games, showing you that he's one of their better players. My only criticism for him will be he does need to bulk up a little bit for the box outs, and so that way he can be a better rebounder. He does need to focus on how to score a little bit better instead of just hoisting up threes and just being a guy that's going to live and die by that. I think it's other things like he's shown throughout his play that he can do he doesn't really need to just be a catch and shoot guy i know he has confidence in his jumper i know that he really feels that he's a great shooter he's been shooting really decent in preseason in 2024 2025 preseason and i think that this just shows you how good this guy really is and you, t you take him top five in a lottery because you see all the things that he brings to the table and all the things that he does and you feel that he can just take it to another level eventually and playing with a team that's more healthier probably and have better weapons around him. He can be that great Swiss Army Knife glue guy like you most likely want your small forward to be. We just need you to be that guy that holds down and punishes teams for making mistakes like over rotations or over help or trapping and double team and just be a guy that we can trust to make the right play or make the shot that's open. But he also has the ability to be a go-to guy like we done seen. He has the handle. He has the ability to create. He has the ability to get separation. He has the ability to pull up. He's a mismatch if you do switch or you do go through the dribble handoff. He has so many things that he can do offensively if he continues to polish it up and make it, you know, a real threat to them. We see it. We know you can do it, but you have to do it consistently at a high level. And, you know, if he can cut out some of those threes and, you know, if he can cut out some of those rush shots, we can see him, you know, be blossom into something real special because I think sometimes, and I've done seen them go for one for 10 in preseason, you kind of settle too much for the three when you could have got a better shot or created a better shot or helped the team get a better shot like you have shown before. And we want to see you do the best you can and be the best player you can, not just be a three and D guy, even though that's not bad and teams do need that. This particular team need him to be more, and that can help him get a reputation that we can look at you as an all-star each and every year if you're able to do it at a high level. Now, when he got drafted, a lot of people were telling me, I don't really see him being this. I don't really see him being that. There's a lot of players that had that same type of talk about them when they got drafted and they ended up becoming bigger, better, and more dominant players than we ever would have seen them be. It's all about development. It's all about growth. It's all about confidence. It's all about consistency. And I think that these are the four things that can really turn him into an all-star. Now, he might never be a superstar to some people, but you don't really have to be. You just need to be what the team needs you to be and relish in that role or take advantage of that opportunity and become a better player and become a more experienced player and then turn into what the team needs you to be. And that may be an all-star. And I think that this team does need that. They need more firepower. They need more 
scoring they need a more better playmaker so guys can get easier shots and easier opportunities when they play off another player that they trust and that's something that you do have to build so i love what i have seen out of brandon miller he's one of my favorite rookies from last year obviously he was all rookie first team like he should have but if he's going to continue to play the, the three point, I'm just going to sit there and bomb threes. I'm going to just sit there and just take that opportunity because I'm that comfortable with that shot and I'm more confident with that shot. I can't hate it because he showed that he can knock it down even in preseason, but it is more things you can do like you have shown that I would like to see you hone on and that can make you into an all-star. It can make you a 23, 25 point scorer, just like your role model and, and the guy you wanted to model your game after Paul George, you can be that. And I've seen that in preseason this year so far. And I've seen that last year. If you can get 17 and you can be more active and you can get more minutes and more opportunity and you already know what the team needs you to do on the court, you can just take full advantage of that opportunity and turn it into something special. And that's what we really see what Brandon Miller can be and what he can do even in the future. So if I if he becomes a 20-point scorer and he can get to 22 to 23 points, that's about all-star range, especially if your team is a playoff caliber team, which, you know, that depends on what team he goes to in the future as he might not play with the same team his whole career. But I can see him being one of those guys that can eventually get to that point where stuff clicks, things are hitting, things are going his way, and... You know, this guy has the opportunity on bad teams, and sometimes the bad teams turn to good teams, and that turns to all-star teams. And we've done seen it with one of his teammates, LaMelo Ball, do the same. He thought he can score. He thought he can play. He thought he wasn't efficient. He started turning down some shots, start becoming – you know, more of a bread and butter type of player. Then he seen what worked and seen what didn't work. Then he made the adjustment. Then he made the adaption. And he became a guy that made it to the all-star team. And I can see Brandon Miller joining him on that if they can continue to gel and continue to move the ball and continue to make shots. And if he can rebound better and read the floor better and trust his teammates a little bit more and play off his teammates a little bit better and continue to move without the ball that we've seen that he can do, it's going to be a lot of ample amount of opportunities for him, and he's going to be able to possibly be a capitalist on that and be able to be a star in the making. So I, I really like what I have seen from him, and I really like what he does. And it was just fun making this breakdown to show you how many things he does well because he's a team – on a team that you don't really watch or know too much about or see too much about for the casual fans. But the hardcore fans say, well, he had a decent rookie season, rookie season, and he did play well. What can he do to build upon that? And that's why I wanted to do this breakdown and tell you what I see, what I know, what he can do as a person that played basketball before and dominated the game at one point. So at the end of the day, comment, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell for more analysis. And if you like this breakdown and you like other kind of NBA content, I do tributes and I do coverage every single day throughout the day for NBA. So if you love these type of videos, check out my older videos. And if you already been on the channel, reminder is other videos that I release throughout the day, throughout the month, throughout the years that you might have missed. Just make sure you check in on the daily throughout the day, just in case you wanted to see something and you might want to watch it still. I'm just trying to help you by reminding you, you may have missed it. Other than that, I'm signing out. See you guys later.